Mobile Legends has come a long way. From its humble beginnings in 2016 to become one of the most popular mobile games in the world. A game that has taken the world by storm. This is a tale seven years in the making that has seen thousands of stars live and die because of a feeder. This is my story of Mobile Legends. So today, let's take a trip down memory lane with the help of Star Memories. Do you still remember the first time you logged in at Mobile Legends? I do because it's my first encounter with this overpowered show that can stun with his passive. Everything was new and it made me want to try all of the heroes so that I'll know how to deal with them on the battlefield. Good old times. And it was this year when the first MSC tournament was held. Look at that, we still had the Lord and the Turtle spawning at the same time. Afterward came the first MPL Philippines and Team Aether Main took home the trophy. Who can forget this iconic team, right? And then later on, we had our first skin series, which is Saber. And it also led to the rise of their counterpart, Team Venom. Do you still remember this animation? In 2019, marked the first collaboration with King of Fighters. I remember making a video where I spent more than 8,000 diamonds to get Cho's Ayori skin. It was also this year when the first M1 World Championship was held. The EVOS Legends from Indonesia won the tournament against their rival, Team RRQ Hoshi. Who can forget Donkey taking off his shirt during the celebration? After the tournament is another skin series because they need to make money. This time, it's the Lightborn squad with Sylvana leading the team on this animation. A few months later came the M2 tournament which was held on Singapore. This time, Team Philippines won the world title courtesy of Bren Esports. Carl TC was named MVP, which is a known Lancelot user, and that's why we have this skin. The next event is the 515 Stun Series, and this one I can't forget because he received a show skateboard. I might not use it properly, but that's one item worth keeping. I also remembered how badly we fought each other in the popularity event just to get promo diamonds. It was also this year when the collaboration with Transformers started. Remember the parts that we used to collect? Well, it's gone now. I think this is better compared to the bingo system that we currently have. After that came the 5th anniversary of our game featuring Nia. I even got a savage from that skin. And then came the much-awaited M3 World Tournament. The Eclipse International from the Philippines won it this time. I remember watching the games when Tank Jungler was not too dominating. Back then, we can see some YSS and Roger Core picks. Good old times, right? Now we move on to 2022 where we had a lot of collaborations. It started with Sanrio featuring the skins of Angela, Chang'e, Florin, and Claude. But deep in our hearts, we only wanted one thing, and it's Balmond. Next is the Kung Fu Panda collaboration where we got a free General Kai on the first 10 draw. There was also some backlash about Ling as Lord Shen, but it's all good now. And then we have Saint Seiya punching his way through the ML universe. He's followed by Neymar Jr. that also gave us a free skin. After that is the latest M4 tournament that was held in Jakarta, Indonesia. And for the third time, it's a Philippines team winning the trophy. It's Echo beating the defending champions Blacklist International in the Grand Finals. 
man, Mobile Legends has been a crazy journey for me. From its crappy graphics at the beginning to becoming a cultural phenomenon in the Philippines. The game has become a popular way for friends and family to connect and bond over a shared interest. What makes it even better is the continuous update we get. The developers have shown commitment by providing players with the new features and content. Things are always changing in the land of Dawn and that's a good thing to prevent stale gameplay. Overall, the future of Mobile Legends looks bright as the game continues to evolve and adapt to changing trends and player needs. After playing for 6 years, I am still looking forward to lose and gain more stars for the coming years. What about you? What is your Mobile Legends story?